So if you bought this shiny new mirrorless camera and you set it to auto and you start to record knowing what the amount of money you just spent, it's gonna look amazing. And then you get footage that looks like this. You're too dark, you're too bright, everything's ruined. So you say, okay, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm gonna shoot manual. So you set your shutter speed, your ISO, your aperture, and you look at the camera meter on the back of your camera and until you see it's a perfectly exposed 0.0. .0. Then you get footage that looks like this. It's even worse. But don't worry, because today we're gonna to look at how to perfectly expose your videos in under one minute using only zebras. Not those, these. Zebras on zebras, Zeepception. Okay, let's get started. So what are zebras? The zebra pattern is a camera overlay that puts zebra stripes onto your image. It doesn't record onto your footage, but instead just shows up on your LCD screen and viewfinder so that you can get that perfectly exposed image. Look at all these zebras. If you look at your camera, you'll see zebra numbers ranging from zero to 100 or even higher in some cases. That's for a standard picture profile, but many mirrorless cameras have other profiles like log, which will change up those numbers a bit. But for now, zero is a very dark black and 100 is a very bright white. If you're using a Sony camera, you'll see two options for zebras, standard plus range and lower limit. Standard plus range means whatever you set your exposure number to, let's say 50, with a range of three, the only zebras you'll see on your screen is any part of your image that's exposed between 47 and 53. Nothing darker or brighter will have zebras on them. Lower limit means whatever you set your exposure number to, let's again say 50, the only zebras you'll see are anything 50 and above. Nothing darker than 50 will have zebras, but everything brighter will. The quickest way to get a good looking image is to set your zebras to expose for skin tones. If zero is black and 100 is white, a good rule of thumb is for skin like mine, between 55 and 75 for normal lighting. Many movies and television shows generally keep skin tones closer to 60 to 65. If you have darker skin, you'll want even lower numbers. Here's a quick guide. This is a color checker and here are six common skin tones. My skin is closest to the second one. If I set that at 60, here are the corresponding numbers for the other skin tones. These are a good jumping off point, but tweak from here and decide what works best for you. So how do we do it? First, we choose standard plus range, set zebras to 75 with a range of two. I'm going to adjust until I only have zebras on the brightest part of my face. I can adjust my ISO, aperture, shutter speed, or even the intensity of the light to accomplish this, but for this example, I'll be adjusting aperture. Okay. This is what 75% zebras look like. That's it. A pretty well exposed image. For comparison, here's 70, 65, 60, and 55. Personally, I prefer 60 to 65, but you do you. Remember when I said before that other picture profiles will change up the numbers a bit? Well, in fact, they do. Picture profiles like log are meant to be corrected in the post-production process, often using a LUT, meaning your skin tones will be recorded lower than 55 to 75 and then brought back up in the editing process. So what are the new values? Well, it depends on the profile, but a good way to figure it out is to use one of these. This is an 18% gray card. This is one of the cheapest, easiest ways to get good exposure with zebras. I've included the one I'm using here in the description. Remember what I said about zebras? Zero is a very dark black, 100 a bright white. This is a representation of middle gray. For a standard picture profile, middle gray usually sits between 40 and 50, but the good news is many manufacturers will tell you the middle gray for their picture profiles like log. For Sony's S-Log3, this card is 41%. That means if you set your zebras to standard plus range to 41 and two, and adjust your exposure until you see zebras on this card, the rest of your image, including your skin tones, should be well exposed. If we go back to the color checker and set middle gray to 41% for S-Log3, we can then adjust our zebras to determine the new skin tone values. And here they are. And these are the approximate values they become after color correction. So for me, if I want my skin tones to wind up somewhere between 60 to 65, I'll set my zebras between 52 and 54 in S-Log3. The great part about these techniques is you can not only expose for your subject quickly, but for the background as well. As long as I have controlled lighting on my background, I can use my skin tones or the gray card to set exposure. For this example, I'm gonna use S-Log3. Let's turn off the lights. Hello, darkness. Starting with the key light, I'm gonna set my zebras to 53 with a range of two and turn on the key light and adjust it until I just start to see the zebras on my face. Okay, that's done. In a shot like this, I wanna be the brightest part of the image. So for the background, I'll choose something lower than 53, maybe a standard plus range of 43 and three. Now all I do is stand up against the background, turn on the background light, and again, adjust until I see zebras on my skin. And that's it. 
good exposure in under a minute. There's actually one more thing you should combine with zebras to make sure you have a perfect image every time. And that's why you really shouldn't ignore this video here, because it's going to take what you just learned and make it way more powerful.